The front wing is one of the most important parts of an F1 car. Because, it's the first part to hit the wind and shape the car's aerodynamics. The wings help to produce downforce to keep the car remain on track and have a grip. Modern F1 front wing contributes up to 40% of the car downforce, depends on the setting. An F1 engineered have been heavily researched on it to create a perfect front wing that complies with the regulations. Sometimes it's finely done and has a gorgeous look, but sometimes it doesn't work that way and looks quite hideous and bizarre front wing. Anyway, you know, it ain't stupid if it works. This is our collection of bizarre F1 front wing throughout the years. And remember, is not a ranked list. Without further ado, let's start. When it comes to a bizarre front nose, the Caterham CT05 is a pretty obvious target. It's not hard to see why. A few people actually like the design, but you can't deny it's a weird-looking and rather phallic front wing. Fortunately, a mid-season update made it look a bit nicer. Later on, the update comes up in the Belgium GP. This time the jagged part was gone and replaced with more smooth and refined bridging. But the shape itself still featured a phallic nose. So the nose is still relevant to add to this list. Arrows A22. This car basically has a nice livery combination in colors, orange and black, quite bold, honestly. But the look somewhat ruined by an aerodynamic update, brought in for the 2001 Monaco Grand Prix. Someone thought it'd be a great idea to attach a tall wing to the front wing, right in the driver's eye line. And as expected, it was swiftly banned by the FIA. Ensign N179. It's time when the step up your game mantra taken literally. Ensign add a small ladder to the front of an F1 car, maybe to step up his pace. Unfortunately, it's just turned out to be one of the weirdest F1 cars in history. This bizarre design from Ensign actually housed the radiators, with two smallish wings at the end of the low nose tip. March 711. The 70s era is the best time for F1 designer to experiment with many things, including the front wing. As they tried to find the best aero solution, the 711's front end resembled a tea tray with its weird, raised and flat section. The concept was short-lived however. Hello, may I have a cup of tea please? Force India VJM07. Most of the F1 2014 grid looked pretty weird. The Force India VJM07 was one of the worst offenders. The weird nose was too long, and using black paint couldn't hide how strange it looked. At a glance, the front wing looked a bit radical but aggressive. Earn the walrus nose nickname due to its look, but really it seems like the real walrus nose? The philosophy behind the design was sounds good, unfortunately it didn't work that well either, and the team changed it midway through 2004. Tyrell P34 The P34 will go down in history as the weirdest F1 car ever. It had six wheels. So there's that. But the front wing also looked quite odd. It looked a bit like someone had put a snow plow on the front of the car to clear the track. Arrows A2 Arrows tried to utilize the ground effect in maximum way. So they ditched the need of front wing and the car had bullet-shaped nose. Actually it wasn't that bad, but it's quiet odd looking. Renault R29 The R29 featured a bizarre front nose arrangement that raised some eyebrows. Its bulbous shape and low-hanging vertical strips look unwieldy compared to most of its rivals. Hesketh 308 This car actually was quite competitive at that time. It gave James Hunt his first podium and win. The car itself had some front nose variation, and one of them was the double front wing. The additional front wing attached just in front of the nose, making the nose look busy. 40FG01 There weren't interesting part of this car apart from the Brazilian-themed livery. The car itself was slow and out of date, since it was basically just an updated F3000 car. Talk about the nose. It had a plump nose, with some various shape of front wing plate, which all of those look suspicious and unfamiliar. Ferrari F2012 in 2012, Ferrari has given us the new look of the stepped nose, 
the result of F1 designers attempting to cope with new regulations. The nose truly resembles a platypus duckbill or boxer's broken nose. The truth is, almost of the cars in the 2012 season used a stepped nose, but the one Ferrari had was the most distinctive. Honda RA107 and RA108 In 2007, Honda made a huge blow when they introduced Earth Dreams livery, that featuring a whole Earth satellite image. When the livery itself was look unusual, the front wing in some occasion also had an unusual update. They added elephant-shaped winglet that earned Dumbo wing nickname. The successor of the car, RA108, which now comes in more common livery. The car actually had a pretty standard nose, but like RA107, in the mid-season they added a smaller Dumbo wing, compared to the last one. Some people said it was eyesore. But for me, it's okay as long as it makes Dumbo happy. McLaren M26 the car was already suspicious, even in James Hunt's hands. Rather useless and then somebody at the factory noticed that they had a spare rear wing, so to add to the general awfulness, in the practice session at 1978 Spain GP, they stuck it on the front. It didn't help, the car remained dreadful, both in looks and performance. Brabham BT-34 The BT-34, which was nicknamed the Lobster Claw, featured a split front spoiler. The two boxes at the edge of the midsection of the front wing actually were housed radiators. It was an innovative design, but the car was uncompetitive. Don't worry, this one doesn't pinch. Ferrari F14T When talk about bizarre F1 front nose, the 2014 cars are the real free real estate. You only have two options, either a phallic or vacuum cleaner look. Ferrari opted to choose the second option. The look itself resembles the anteater nose due to its low wide profile. McLaren MP429 The MP429 has adopted similar livery seen on the 1998 championship winning car driven by Hakkinen. The chromed body is offset by black inserts and accents on the front and rear wing. Like others 2014 cars, the car featured a finger nose, the main reason why this car joined this list. Lotus E22. Actually, this front wing design was clever and looked very different to the rest of the grid. The problem was, some people couldn't accept that fact. The twin tusks of the Lotus weren't equal in length to fit into the regulations and certainly weren't what we were expecting ahead of the 2014 season. Thank you for watching my video. If you have another F1 car with a bizarre look, either its front wing or any part of the cars, please comment down below. And please support me on my Patreon page, you can access various perks, and get exclusive downloadable contents there. Until next time.